What assurance do voters have you will be the green congressman of the 45th district when you have yet to complete such projects locally? Well, uh, I'm actually, and, and yes, as chairman of CBAG and chairman of the Energy Water Conservation Subcommittee, we did sign a pledge, all the mayors, and I'm very happy to say all the mayors did it, and you then turn that over to the South Coast Air Quality Management District, who's actually in charge of the data, bringing the data forward to every single city. That was delayed. It was delayed many times. I certainly don't control the data or the beta site. But in Palm Springs, I can tell you, and Katie Barrows from CVAG and everyone else is working very, very hard on that. And, and I will tell you, though, what we have done in Palm Springs, the renewable energy hub in the city of Palm Springs, you know, it started with an idea in, in my office about creating this hub, working with Brian McGowan, who is the economic development director. Change does not come easy. Clearly, we are, we are seeing that. But we moved forward, and, and, and winning this renewable energy hub is a big deal. We want the investment capital that's going to create these jobs to come down from the Silicon Valley, and not go to China, and not go to Germany, but come here. So we have been working it. Our Office of Sustainability in the City of Palm Springs is working very, very, very well. We've saved the convention center hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're starting to conserve water, energy. We have changed our procurement policies. We have zero waste events in the City of Palm Springs. All things that we're working very, very hard to do on a new item, a new issue. It takes hard work. And as I've told folks before, I am green. And you can go green without going in the red. And we've done it in Palm Springs. And I will do it for the 45th Congressional District to create those jobs that are so important to all of us. Congresswoman, your 60-second rebuttal, please. Well, like the mayor certainly didn't answer that one, now did he? The question was, why should he move on farther when he hasn't completed anything that he, he, he promised to his, uh, his constituents? Mr. Mayor, you haven't. You said that you brought Port Lawrence in. You said you brought in the Hard Rock Hotel. Port Lawrence is a parking lot, a very expensive uh, landscaped parking lot, I, I guess, if you would. Uh, you know, but what, what amazes me is that you're t you can say you can go green without going red. Well, you are in the red, and you know what you did when you were in the red? You closed the city jail. You closed the city jail and you laid off 22 people at Palm Springs Police Department. How can you say you're going green without going red when you are in the red? You know, Mr. Mayor, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool them all, all the time. And, you know, this is a perfect example. You are promises made, but promises never delivered. Great.